So earlier this year, I was uh, diagnosed with pancreatitis, and I spent about a week in the hospital in the most excruciating pain I've ever experienced. I didn't even know you could have pain like that. It was one of the most terrible experiences of my life. And I remember one day, my mom took me on a wheelchair, so I was finally feeling a little bit better. But I wasn't 100% yet, and I, I still wasn't completely pain-free. And she was wheeling me around this corner. She wheeled me in front of these giant bay windows. And there was this older man playing piano. And it was this beautiful song. And I just remember looking out the window, feeling the sun hitting my skin for the first time ever. And seeing the sky and this, butter, this single butterfly flying past my line of sight. It almost felt like it was made. It felt like a spiritual experience. Have I, did I just experience religion? Was... I, or was I just feeling the medications? But if that's really what a spiritual experience is, maybe I do need to experience it. Maybe I do need to look into it. Maybe I do need to find out what it's like. And maybe there's something to it. So that's the point of this documentary. To see what it's like for someone without faith to be completely immersed into a family with me, and to discover myself, and also to show, shine a light on society, and show that we need to be respectful and tolerant of other people's beliefs, but not shove our own beliefs on each other. Uh, that's the key idea in my documentary, and the key idea I want to get across to people, is that no matter what you believe, as long as you're a good person and you use your time wisely on this earth, it, it shouldn't matter. It just shouldn't be better. And gotta have faith. I want to choose a religion at random. So I'm going to put the top three religions that are believed in the United States. Judaism, Islam, and Christianity into a hat. And then I'm going to choose from one of those religions and say I get Christianity, then I'll put in the top 15 denominations of Christianity into a hat. And then I'll choose that religion, and that'll be the religion that I stay with for 12 days. And in those 12 days, I will follow all the rules of that family. I will pray when they pray. I will go to church when they go to church. I will believe what they believe. So you never know, it might be your religion I end up staying with.